Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to this uHodler tutorial. Today we're going to show you around the platform and teach you some things in the process. So let's get to it. Uh, right here is just the uHodler.com landing page. If you haven't checked it out, I recommend you do it as soon as possible. Uh, essentially just has a quick breakdown of what we do, our loan platform benefits, how it works, upcoming features such as the credit card and application, some client testimonials, frequently asked questions, and more. So go ahead and give us a visit. And also be sure to follow our blog as we have regular updates about the platform and just great crypto news in general. All right, so now that you're all caught up, let's sign in. Uh, here you can click login will direct you to this page. I already have an account, but I will walk through the process of how to do it if you are a new user. So as you can see down here, it says don't have an account, sign up. And it'll be brought to this page. Again, I already did it, but you would enter your email there, your password there, promo code if you have one. We do occasionally offer promo codes, so keep an eye on our blog and social media channels for any of that. Okay, so once you enter that information, you click the sign up button, and then you'll receive an email that looks just like this. Welcome to you, Hodler. You did it. We have 24 seven support if something went wrong in the process, but that's the sign up process. It's really easy. And once you do that, we're going to move on to the next step. All right, now that you've successfully signed up and logged into your brand new uHodler account, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. Now there's all sorts of buttons you can click and explore, but really your main priority is passing KYC. You cannot interact with the platform without passing KYC. It might be an inconvenience to you, but it makes everyone safer and make sure we're not dealing with any money launderers for criminal behavior of that sort. So fortunately, the process is incredibly easy. And even though it is easy, I'm gonna walk you through it right now just to prove it. So here you go. As you'll see, confirm your identity, step one. Submit scan of a document and selfie. Now I've already done that for the sake of convenience, but let me give you some pointers here. When you take a picture of your ID, you wanna make sure you're in a well-lit area no bright lights or reflections or shadows. You just want to take a clear picture of your ID front and back and make sure there's no corners cut off. Just take a good picture. It's not rocket science, but if you do need help, our support is here for you. So once you've done that, click confirm and here you go. We brought to this page. This is an example. If you have a passport, it would look like this. I personally used a driver's license. So I'm gonna upload the front side of my document. You can also capture using your computer's webcam. Uh, if you have a high quality webcam, great, go for it. But I just suggest taking it with a good camera, cell phone, and uploading it ahead of time just to make things easier for you. But do it however you want. Okay, now that my ID is uploaded, I will go to the next step, which is the selfie. Again, the selfie is pretty straightforward. Just look straight at the camera holding your chosen ID that we just uploaded before. Make sure there's lots of light Neutral color, don't wear anything crazy on your head. No hats, no sunglasses, no hoods, just your face. And then once you've taken that picture, you upload that. Okay, now we'll move on to the third and final step, which is personal info. Enter your country. First name, I'm gonna blur this out just for the sake of privacy. 
now enter your phone number. And that's it. Just double check to make sure all the information is correct. If so, there should be no errors. And send your application off. Just like that, you have officially submitted your KYC documents. And the application process is very fast. We have a team on staff 24-7 to make sure everything's all right. Um, in the rare scenario that there is a problem, you can contact them or they'll contact you. And uh, we'll work everything out for you. All right. After that quick and painless KYC process, we're ready to dig in the platform a little bit more. So here, let's check out the wallet section before we actually get a loan, just so you understand. Uh, so here you're, you're gonna see a wallet for USD, fiat currency, Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and last but not least, Bitcoin SV. You'll see a few more highlighted by the coming soon tag. And there'll be even more than that down the road. So as I said before, just keep an eye on our blog, subscribe to our social media channels, and get all the latest updates on these new additions. We want to make it as convenient as possible for you guys to take a loan, and we think more options will do that. Many of our competitors, I don't want to name names here, but many of them only focus on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we feel it's a little bit exclusive. So... We just want to make everything easier for you guys. So what do these wallets actually do? What's the purpose? For that, let's go back to the main landing page here and look at this diagram we have drawn up here. So if you didn't know already, the uHodler platform allows one to borrow fiat funds instantly based on the current value of one's cryptocurrency asset holdings. So a user, in this case you, you're going to request a loan. That's you right there. And you're going to use your chosen crypto asset as collateral. Again, those are those options we went over before. Pick and choose whatever you like. So from there, those assets go into your secured wallet. And that is what this is right here. So now you should understand. And then in return, you're going to receive instantly the agreed upon loan amount in either fiat USD, Euro, or you can even choose the crypto USDT. All right, so that goes over the wallet section here. I have zeros across the board. So let's work on depositing some of that crypto into my wallet so you can see how that process works. So let's just go to our wallet here for a second so I can show you what it's like. So as you'll see here, at the moment, we accept Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and Bitcoin Cash as collateral. As you'll see, these other options are coming soon. Stay tuned. Now, earlier today, I deposited a tiny bit of Ethereum just to show you around. So uh, let's do that right now. So this is the deposit page. By depositing, acknowledge that your token is not responsible for any coins that's sent to the wrong address. Deposits will appear after 10 network confirmations. Just thought you should know that. It's very easy to deposit. takes minutes. And then once you have funds in your wallet, such as I do right here, let's go get a loan. All right. Now I'm going to use all my Ethereum. I know it's not a lot, but hey, don't judge. All my Ethereum to get use that as collateral and get a whopping $5.19 loan. Now, there are three tariff actions uh, you can choose from. This is the Quick Cash, which I think has one of the best loan-to-value ratios, if not the best loan-to-value ratio on the, on the market right now. And then there's the Anti-Crisis, 60 days loan term. 50% loan to value ratio, 7% interest. And then the uh, hodler's favorite, as they say. So these are the three tariff options you have. I'm just gonna go with the quick cash. And this is very important. You should read and agree to the terms and conditions before borrowing cash. 
Fortunately, we have it all laid out for you. It's not exactly an entertaining read, but it is very important to read and understand it. Again, if you have any questions regarding this, don't borrow. Ask us first to make sure you're all clear. We want to help you as much as possible. Okay, so once you've identified and read through this, then you click the checkbox. And I'm getting ready to borrow my huge amount of cash. And there you go. My inquiry is placed and you're brought to the loan processing page. Here you get your loan identification number. This is the due date. I have eight days to pay off this $5.18 loan. Let's hope I can do it. And as you'll see here, you get a detailed view showing your loan to value ratio, your interest. You can download the agreement right here. You can cancel the request. Congratulations on getting your first U Hodner loan. Now I'm going to show you how to withdraw that money and put it to good use. As you'll see, we're at this very familiar page, the page you all know and love, the wallets page. Now mine's pretty empty, except for this section right here. I have a whopping $5.54. And I'm gonna withdraw it because, you know, that's a lot of money in some places, so I need it. When you click withdraw, you'll see we have two options here. Tether, USDT, which is instantaneous, near instantaneous, more on that later, and then bank wire. So let's click on Tether. Here you enter the amount you want to withdraw. It could be the whole balance, like I will do, or you can do a fraction of it. And then you're gonna receive $5.54. What makes us particularly unique is you can withdraw a very small amount. $100 is the minimum amount you can withdraw but that's far less than some of our competitors who have, let's say, $1,000 minimum withdrawal limit. But we don't want to leave anyone out, so we like to have low withdrawal numbers, which is good for, for retail businesses or anyone who just wants to take out a small amount. Okay, let's move on. I have my requested amount. I'll enter my imaginary USDT wallet address. Make sure you double check the address and confirm it is correct. And make sure to read the fine print. You will receive your funds once the transaction is processed by the Tether blockchain. That is why I said near instantaneous withdrawal earlier because it all depends on the, the Tether blockchain. So usually it's pretty fast. If there's any strange delays, you think it's been a day, even a couple hours, and you think it should be in your wallet by then, just reach out to us and we'll try to work it out for you. And you'll notice this, zero commission. No commission, no hidden fees. Fully transparent here, you hodler. All right, now let's go to the second example here, bank wire. We have two options, USD and Euro. I'm gonna choose US dollar. Again, withdraw the whole amount or whatever you choose. You enter your full name what country you reside in, billing address, and this is where the bank information will come in handy. Once again, please make sure to read the fine print. Now we all know banks are a little tricky sometimes. They're not as fast as we'd like them to be, which is why crypto is really gaining popularity these days. But for the most part, it should be relatively fast. You should receive the funds within one business day but it can be up to two to five business days for a USD withdrawal to a non-US bank account. Again, this all depends on the banks and what country you reside in. But again, if you have any questions or problems with that, you can contact us and we will help you out. So there you go, that's the withdrawal page. Pretty self-explanatory. And let's move on to the next part. One last thing I wanted to go over with you guys before you take off with your money and do as you wish. You navigate to your profile page here. There's a few interesting things you might want to take note of. For one, two-factor authentication. I want to reiterate that we strongly recommend you enable this as there are hackers out there and you just want to make sure you're safe. 
It takes two seconds to give you a quick sneak peek here. All you do is enter your phone number. And now every time you log in after this, we'll send you a little login code just to ensure you have an extra layer of security there. Again, highly recommended. It takes two seconds. Please do it. If you lose your password, we're all forgetful sometimes. I know I am. It's a reset password button here. Again, the promo code. You can activate your promo code here to get extra days for your loan term. We regularly give out promo codes, so keep an eye on all social media and our blog. And then this is our affiliate program, which may or may not be attractive to you, but let's go over it and see what you think. So as you'll see, there's a referral code here and a link. And you can use this link or code to bring in referrals of your choice. Let's say your mom. So once your mother registers, they'll be marked with a unique referrer ID, and then your mom will receive additional five days to pay off her loan. And with every issue loan, you will receive 5% off our commission to your USD wallet. We have a full article on that here if you want more information. But it's a nice little way to get some, some spare cash if you refer, let's say, 10 people, 5 people even. So consider that. And that about sums it up for this little um, tutorial. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope everything was clear for you. And if not, contact support, and we'll be happy to help you. Hope you have a great day, guys, and see you next time.